That means it's almost time to go. By the time I arrived, the storm had put down one tornado and traveled 100 miles across the great state of South Dakota. And somehow, I knew that things were just getting started. There might be a big Oh, another tornado going. What had been a peaceful autumn day had been obliterated by a storm that resembled a hydrogen bomb.
major tornado about to hit the city. Well, at least from what I observed. Here she comes! I can make the 10 to go. Kind of a dreary day out there, but it is definitely preferable to last <laughs> night. Yes, uh, kind of the calm after the storm today and much yeah. cooler and drier, a lot more comfortable uh, air mass in place. It was just so hot and sticky here the last couple of days, and that kind of uh, put the fuel in the fire uh, in place, I guess you could say, for those showers and storms. And here's a live look from our KDLT Skycam again. Not a lot going on, kind of gloomy. A uh, few scattered light showers out there. I'll talk more about that in just a second, but I want to show you some video uh, from a storm chaser named Scott Olson, uh, who shot some very impressive video last night. And this is around Eastern Hand County, Western Beetle County, around the Woolsey, Westington area. Again, some very impressive uh, shots of this tornado, no doubt about that. And these are uh, ones between the Miller and also the Huron vicinity. Now, just quickly a recap of what happened last night. We had two major supercell thunderstorms which produced tornadoes. Uh, obviously, the one that started in Eastern Sully County, that's the one that moved along Highway 14 through the Miller and eventually the Huron area. We didn't talk a whole lot about this one off to the north, but in McPherson County, we also had some structural damage, uh, some farms and some homesteads damaged up there, as well as some livestock. So uh, it wasn't uh, just in the here. On the next episode of How's the Weather? If you hear the rain, get ready for the thunder.